My husband says if he sees a wig, he's like, I just can't stop thinking of my grandmother. With Hollywood, I know a lot of actresses, and I mean, we do it for males too, depending on what, what we're filming. We use wigs and clip-ins and, you know, different things like that to create an illusion that is for that particular day, that particular scene. And then at the end of the day, those people are typically coming out of those styles. You're coming out of that wig properly, removing the lace front wig with the proper um, removers and tools. As it began to become popular, you know, in everyday culture, um, people don't necessarily take all the proper steps that they should, and yeah. they wear them for extended, 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 extended periods of time. Extended. <laughs> extended. Right. Extended. And that's where that damage, yeah, that's where that damage uh, starts to happen. And the edges are breaking off, and they're like, well, I was wearing this because I wanted a protective style to get my edges growing back. Yeah, well, they're not growing back because you're not giving them a break, and you're damaging them. You, you're actually damaging them now, yes, like yes. nothing natural. You are, you are the cause. You all this extra cause. got to be glued. All this extra pulling and tugging. You know, you in the car at the light, and you're like, "Ooh, let me take this back there." Yes, <laughs> yes. You are the cause. Yes. It is your. You are the cause. Yes. Women are now walking around with these things all the time, calling them protective styles, and. The celebrities, you know, walk around with two cornrows in, or a scarf on, or a baseball cap on, yeah. or you know, just healthy hair. They're not wearing them all the time, and I get frustrated by that. You could be doing them properly, but after a while, you know, your hair is gonna, you know, might get a little thinner. Not maybe yeah. not bald, but you'll see some thinning. I mean, anything that's pulling, tugging, pressing hiding, confining, you know, after a while, your hair is just going to be like, bleh. But I often like to tell my clients, like, wigs are designed for people who are in Hollywood, are on television for an extravagant look, or someone who's battling, like, traumatic hair loss from a sickness, from a bad car accident. Now, I will say, in the trend of we wigs these days. There are a lot of glueless options that um, people are using now that will allow you to have that look without using the glue. My husband says that. I don't wear wigs a lot, but he says that if he sees a wig, he's like, I just can't stop thinking of my grandmother. Can you move that? Like, once it's on and it's done, he can deal with it. But if it's just like on the dresser or on the mannequin, like if he has to see it, he's like, it's just, I just, I can't do nothing but think about my grandmother.